bad guys have mercy. They're just warned and urged all Americans, get out now with this war between this pending war with the Ukraine and Russia. And uh, boy, I tell you, we got to pray the United States does not get involved. And I'll tell you why. One of my friends in the ministry, Pastor Daner Coverstone, I met him several years ago when he started having Jonah-type dreams of warnings to wake up the sleeping church, to wake up, to come out of the lethargy, backsliddenness, cold hardness, lukewarmness. I had asked him, I think in December, I says, Pat, I says Brother Dana, have you seen anything for 2022? And he said, yes, Rob, but I'm not ready to release it. And he said, uh, he told me sort of, I guess, behind closed doors in March and September of this year, he's seen involvement of the United States, not only getting involved, but action here in the United States of some type of, you know, and I don't like to tout or issue things prematurely, but. I believe the Lord gave him that dream that he has since released the dream. So that's why I'm releasing it because it's not candid no more. It can be repeated. But didn't the Christ say, guys, there would be wars and rumors of wars? And the devil wants to cause an upheaval and chaos in the earth because it sidetracks the church. But let me just give you a little hint. The greatest move of God took place in the book of Acts. And there was more persecution, more, more mandates, more this, that. They would feed in Christians to lions. They tried to do that to Daniel, by the way, and the lions then didn't work too well for the lion. He was still, he didn't get to eat because God said it's not time for you to eat. Daniel, that is. Maybe some filet mignon. Hallelujah. Jesus, help us, Lord. Father, we thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. And Lord, this is to divert the attention of souls in the harvest. Because you're about souls in this hour. You're about reaping the harvest. About 10, 12 years ago, guys, I don't even know why I'm sharing this. just came to me. I went to with a local landscaping shops here in New York, Long Island, and uh, brought a bunch of sickles, brought a bunch of sickles there, instruments that farmers use or landscapers, sickles. And the guy said, what are you buying all these sickles? They were like $20, $25, $30 each. I bought a bunch of them. When I was preaching in some of the churches, I would hand the pastor the sickle, the threshing instrument, because Joel talks about swinging the sharp sickle taking in the harvest. I think Revelations 14 said an angel had a sharp sickle in his hand, reaping the souls of men. So make sure you've got your sickle in your hand to, th to be able to take in the harvest, the wheat, the harvest, the sickle, and make sure it's a sharp sickle. But let's continue to pray, guys, into this, the Ukraine, Russia, the war. And uh, my God, I just have mercy in Jesus' name. Hallelujah.